In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use Noel Carboni's astronomy tools. These are action sets for Photoshop that can be used to enhance your deep sky astrophotos. They can be downloaded at actions.home.att.net slash astronomy underscore tools dot html. Or if you have a hard time remembering that catchy URL, just Google astronomy tools and it should be one of the first things that comes up. When you first download the Astronomy Tools Actions, you install them in the Photoshop Actions folder. Then when you open Photoshop, you want to make sure that your Actions palette is visible. If it's not, simply go to Window and select Actions. Then, if you don't see the Astronomy Tools Actions listed, click on the Flyout menu and go to Load Actions and select the Astronomy Tools and you'll see them here. Click on the triangle next to it and that expands to show all the different actions that are available. We'll look at some of the most common actions that you'll use. The few that we'll explore will be space noise reduction, local contrast enhancement, enhanced deep sky object and reduce stars, and make stars smaller. Let's begin by opening an image. In this case we've got a shot of M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, and we're going to run some actions on it to improve the image. If we look at the spiral arms of the galaxy, they show a decent amount of detail, but they're maybe not as contrasty as we would like. Maybe we want to punch up the dark lanes a little bit to, to make them stand out a little better. And a great way to do this is with an action called Local Contrast Enhancement. And to run an action, simply click on it and then press the play button at the bottom of the actions palette. Then, if you want to see your result compared to your original, a really handy thing is to hit Control z or Command-Z on a Mac, and that will undo the last thing that the action does. And every one of these actions, the last thing that they do is paste the layer. So what you can do by pressing Control or Command-Z is to bring that layer back up above the original image. And then by clicking the eyeball icon in the Layers palette on and off, you can see before and after and see if you like the results. If you don't like the results, you can just drag this layer down to the trash bin and get rid of it. If you do like the results, simply go to the flyout menu and select flatten image and that will apply the final results. We'll look a little more at that in detail later. One of my favorite actions is the Enhanced Deep Sky Object and Reduce Stars. This works especially well when you have a nebula or something with a, a very dense star field to help bring out that object, but it works well even on galaxies like this where the stars are a little more sparse. So same thing, I'm going to click on the action we want to run and press the play button. Now this action runs the meme, uh, excuse me, minimum filter 23 times. So depending on the speed of your computer, it may take a while to run this action. But it's worth the results in the end, so we'll be back in just a second with the results. And there it is. So what we can do now is Control z or Command-Z on a Mac and preview before and after. And you can see that the after result brings out a lot more detail in these faint arms coming off the galaxy, these dust, dust tails. Look at before again, after. Really tightens up the core of this companion galaxy. I think the results are pretty nice, so we'll flatten the image. One unfortunate side effect of the enhanced DSO and reduced stars action was that it started to bring on a little noise here in the outer parts of the galaxy, the real faint detail. It starts to get a little noisy. But, of course, there's a fix for that. It's called Space Noise Reduction. You have Space Noise Reduction and Deep Space Noise Reduction, and the nomenclature is a little confusing, but Space Noise Reduction is the stronger of the two. So generally, that's the one you'll want to run. If you only want a very slight noise reduction, run Deep Space Noise Reduction. So we'll select that, press play, 
and we'll get the results. And you can see that things are much smoother in the outer arms of the galaxy. The problem is the inner arms are also smoother. We've lost some of the detail there. But there's an easy fix for that. So we'll hit Control Z and bring our layer back and we can see before and after. And what we can do is create a layer mask that will apply this action only to certain parts of the image. And to do that, we'll select the lasso tool and draw around our galaxy the parts that we don't want the noise reduction applied to. And then go to Select, Modify, and Feather. And this will feather the selection so that the transition between the selected and unselected areas is smooth. And for this image, 30 pixels is about right. That'll depend on the uh, actual resolution of your image as to what that needs to be, so you have to play around a little bit. But 30 is a good place to start. And then you want to go to Select and Invert the selection by selecting Inverse. Now we've selected everything except the galaxy. And if we come over to the Layers palette and select the Add Layer Mask button and click on that, that applies a layer mask where only the white areas are applied and the black areas are not. So what we can see is a before and after, the noise goes away in the faint outer parts in the background sky, but the galaxy itself is left intact. And we don't really want to use noise reduction on this part of the galaxy. Anyway, it's a very high signal to noise ratio part of the image, so there isn't a lot of noise to begin with. And this is a great way to apply an action to just a selected part of the image. And when you're happy with it, select Flatten Image, and there you go. And lastly, a nice action called Make Stars Smaller. And what happens when we run this action is it does shrink the star images. If we look at before and after using Control Z, the stars do get a little smaller, which is nice, of course. Always like smaller stars. And we can flatten the image. And we can even run Make Stars Smaller again and get even tighter stars. What starts to happen if you run this too much is it starts to get, the galaxy starts to model a little bit. You get sort of, you start to lose some of the detail within the spiral arms themselves, although we are getting nice tiny little stars. What also happens is the stars tend to soften a little bit if you run this action more than once. So what you might do if you do decide to run it uh, a couple times is to go up to filter and select, oops, where's it at? Sharpen unsharp mask, and run a very gentle unsharp mask, maybe something like 50% and half a pixel. And that'll sharpen up the stars a little bit while, while keeping them smaller. And those are some of the most common actions you can use. There's a lot more. There are 32 actions total, so explore them all and see what you can do with your images. But there's a, a few tips to get you started.